I'm often asked to run my writings by the rabbis before I publish. Yeah, wouldn't that be nice to have a big OU on my blog, to have every post stamped kosher. Yeah, you know, I'll do that. I'll do that as soon as all the other writers in the Orthodox community run their writings by their rabbis too, before they publish. Because if they did, no Orthodox screenwriter would be making a living as a screenwriter. They wouldn't be married. They wouldn't be able to support a wife and kids. They wouldn't be able to pay their mortgage. They wouldn't be able to pay their shawl bills. They'd be pushing carts down the Third Street Promenade. They'd be homeless because they wouldn't be able to make a living as a writer. Because all of them either write R-rated scripts or produce R-rated movies or write PG and edgy material that would be totally non-kosher from uh, the perspective of any normative Orthodox rabbi. So yeah, I'll run my blogs by the rabbis. As soon as the other writers in the community are asked to run their scripts by the rabbis. Like, why should I run my blog by the rabbis if the other writers in the Orthodox community here in Pico Robertson then have to run their scripts by the rabbis, their news reports by the rabbis, their novels by the rabbis, their playwrights by their plays by the rabbis? None of them have to do that. You know why they don't do that? Because if they did, they wouldn't be able to get them passed. The rabbi would say, this is not acceptable. And then they'd have to make a choice between their Judaism, between God's will, and making a living. And doing what they wanted. So I guess what happens when Orthodox writers are confronted by tests between God's will, what the Torah commands, and what they want to do. How they can make money and advance themselves, and be creative and express themselves, and get to imagine all the things that they can't really do, or shouldn't do, but would really like to do to Shiksas. Sure, they just write it out. Oh, sure, some of them say, Rabbi, can I talk to you about this? Is it, is it okay to put profanity in a script? And uh, they'll ask the questions that are safe for them, that are easy for them to discuss. It's like all the Jews who call the rabbi and say, Ah, oh, rabbi, I dropped my my spoon in uh, my my milk spoon in in a pot of ice cream, or or my cook, cooking utensil here touched something that it shouldn't. What should I do? But I mean, you think they call and say, you know, I'm having an affair. I want to bump off my ex-wife. Uh, is it okay for me to speak ill of my neighbor who refused to let me borrow his lawnmower? Like anything that matters, they're not going to run it by their rabbi, because if they really want to do the wrong thing, they're going to do the wrong thing. They're not going to run it by the rabbis. So, it's all phony baloney. It's like, you can be an Orthodox Jew and Pico Robertson, you can write R-rated movies, you can write uh, journalism that uh, totally violates the guidelines of the Chafetz Chaim, and of normative Torah Judaism on what's acceptable to say about other people. But you just pretend that the conflict doesn't exist. And you make the obligatory inquiries with your rabbi on the, on the things that are safe that you, you don't mind talking about. Uh, you know, how do I fairly cover Israel without saying anything damaging about Israel or some other phony baloney stuff. But me, I should run my blogs by the rabbis. Other writers don't have to, but I, I should run everything I do by the rabbis.